I think not just footballers, I think every single child should be educated through school to understand more about money. If you think about all the things that we learned at school, whether it be history, geography, maths, I mean, the amount of times that I've used Pythagoras theorem <laughs> in my day-to-day -day life is never. But then the amount that people actually understand, and it goes back to even me, before I got into financial services, I left school, got a job, got offered a credit card at 18, went to the cash point with this credit card and just started drawing money out of it, not knowing that I'm paying 30, 40% interest on it. Until at one point, my mother saw it and she said to me, what are you doing with this? I didn't have a clue. I didn't have a clue how interest worked because nobody educated me. Mm. But I wasn't earning tens of thousands of pounds a week at that point. But then if you've got people at that age and they have no value for it, it's no wonder you sign for Nottingham Forest and you go and get yourself a Bentley because you don't realise that that tap could be turned off at any point with an injury. Could be turned off at any point with you falling out with a manager or anything like that. Like it's such a short career. Um, I just think that maybe there's got to be a way in which people could be educated better at a young age in football. And it's a whole different, you're going into a whole different, that's schooling. I mean, for me, like the school system, like I say, hasn't, I haven't used much of what I learned at school. If I had this advice going through school, I might have come out of school, signed a nice deal and been like, right, here's my first investment, here's my second investment, can play with this, can save that. Oh, 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 oh,